it's me. Fine. I'm the problem, it's me. At tea time, everybody agrees. I stand directly in the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be Austin always rooting for the anti-hero. Destroying that broad song, you heard? I'm going to remix that on some rap-ish. It must be exhausting when you have to blame a hero. Relique 187, what's popping, my bro skin? What is populating? What's popping? I'm just checking in with y'all before that new episode drop at 4Cash. You heard? That new episode dropping at 4Cash. You heard? Damien Coilers, which pop you leading? Which pop you leading? Damn, my phone is on super sizzle. Yo, what's poppin'? My phone is about to die. What's really good? Ain't nothing, man. I found that joint that we did. That joint is short, man. It's only like 12 minutes. We might have to add on to that. Now, I'm, I want to. I want to. Remember, we did that story about the tiger, man. That ended up not being a tiger. Now, I mean, I got to listen back to that tonight. But I think that joint is mad short, so we might have to add on to that. But I'm on Lit Ive right now. Once I get off Lit Ive, I'm going to hit you back. All right. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? I'm, just, I'm not even saying nothing to niggas, man. I'm just getting niggas out of here, my nigga. You heard? You see anybody from the D-League talking? You see anybody mention a D-Leaguer? Just get them out of here, bro. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? Anybody? I go straight to a dude page. I hide you from the channel, block you. That's it, bro. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life, man. Cash App, Gem Pop fan, my bro. Ain't no shame in my game. I put out, I put out 5,000 times more. Co I put out content like Netflix for free. You feel what I'm saying? So, ain't no shame in my game. Cash App, Gem Pop Fam. Appreciate all y'all dudes that be sending that Cash App too. Because y'all be showing love. Grand Finale was popping. <sighs> Man, listen, brother. Let me tell you something, my bro. I don't even pay attention. Uh, we don't believe you. I don't even pay attention to none of these YouTubers, my bro. All I'm going to tell y'all is... YouTube is a hell of a drug, my brother. YouTube is a hell of a drug, bro. Know what I mean? That's all I got to say, man. So when you hear people talking crazy, just always remember, YouTube is a hell of a drug. Slim Blunt Gang in the building. My joint extra slim right now. It's rough out here. But I don't mean... I don't be listening to none of these niggas' channels because I don't have time to, bro. My patience level is too... Niggas be taking too long to get to the point. You heard? Niggas be talking for four hours. Niggas be having a four-hour live. Niggas be hitting me up. Yo, Laz, this nigga in the D-League said such and such about you. I go to check the video. That shit four hours, nigga. I ain't sitting here watching that shit, looking for that shit for four hours, nigga. I got money to make. Straight up. But like I said, man. Any D-lead talk, you out of here, nigga. Show us up is what's popping. Bro, listen. All I got to say is, you know, these niggas be thirsty for me to mention them. And to me, that's just feminine. Like, so I don't mention niggas because it's feminine. Like, you sitting around waiting for somebody. Listen, bro. You listen to these niggas' stories carefully. Go back and listen to niggas' stories. 
Niggas can't make a story about me saying that I was going I was going to tear their head off one day and then the next day they making a story talking some other shit. And I don't know. I don't even be listening to these niggas, my nigga. I know they want me to, but I don't, man. Sorry. So if you out there making videos, uploading videos about me, it's too many of y'all. So I don't even watch that shit, bro. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm watching Kindred on Hulu. I ain't watching y'all niggas. I'm watching Kindred. You heard? I'm watching YouTube tutorials about my movie camera and what I should be doing with it. You heard? Like, sometimes I sit back, I say, yo, I should watch something entertaining. But then I say, fuck it, like the nigga Fat Man Scoop said. If I'm going to waste time, if I'm going to spend time out my day, I might as well watch some shit that teach me how to do something. So I throw on some film shit. Yo, teach me how to use this camera. You know what I mean? So I could know everything about this shit and pass that information on. So, you know, think about that, bro. You listening, you watching a nigga hate. Don't watch a nigga hate when you can watch something to help you be great. And it's a reason why great rhymes with hate, my nigga. When you great, you gonna get that hate. That's the bottom line, my nigga. I'ma stop calling niggas haters. I'ma start calling niggas greaters, man. Cause that's all they do is make you greater. People always gonna be interested and curious about a dude who always gets hate. When a nigga got a lot of haters, it makes broads horny. When a chick finds out you got a bunch of haters hating on you, it makes them horny. Even the chicks of the haters, deep down inside, them chicks be like, that nigga do look good, though. I would fuck the shit out that nigga, though. You heard? Even they chicks, my nigga. They can't even look they chicks in the eye and say, keep it real, though. Would you fuck say, hell yeah, I fucked that nigga. They know. And as long as they know, I'm happy. Lucy Goosey was populated. Louis V was popping. I see you in the building. But yeah, man, I just smoked my Slim Blunt. Mind, mind my business, man. You're... One thing you say about Laz, though, you don't see my name in these... You don't see me putting these niggas' names in my title because they nobodies. You heard, but they'll put my shit in the title all day because I'm LAZ, nigga. It's the motherfucking NBA, nigga. Joy, what's that nigga name? <laughs> what's the Don Knight? What's that nigga name? A nigga who fucking ran the whole NBA? Don Nelson? Gemini gang in the building, Gap gang in the building, you're a snow cone. Judo 101, peace to the God, I see you in the building. Bro, y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop trying to put me on the spot with the mathematics, my nigga. Had me looking crazy if I don't know the date. You feel what I'm saying? I barely be knowing what day of the week it is. I be like, yo, today the fifth, right? And he's like, nah, it's the fourteenth. Nigga, I don't be knowing none of that shit, my nigga. I don't be knowing none of that shit, my nigga. I don't be knowing the date. I don't be knowing the time. I be like, yo, what time is it? Like twelve? Niggas be like, nah, it's three thirty. Nigga gotta check them benches, bro. Make a mistake and leave something crazy. I'm good for it. You heard? But yeah, if it's the 11th, now I mean today's mathematics is knowledge. Knowledge will be born to wisdom. wisdom. Wisdom is the wise words spoken by the wise man named God our law. You heard? And I can expound on wisdom all day. It's also the black woman. And we could keep it going, but. Like I said, man, that dudes got to stop trying to put me on the spot. Niggas be popping up. Hey, what's today's mathematics? You heard? <laughs> nigga be popping, nigga be hiding behind a tree like this. Is that nigga last coming? Hey, hey, what's today's mathematics, my brother? You heard? Nah, man. He's got to stop that. Yershk. But yeah, bro. Yeah, son, you know, this is your bad vibes. This is why, bro, listen. It's so much hate, this is why you gotta tune out. When it's a little bit of hate, you know, but after a while, that shit is toxic. I'm not putting that toxic shit into my system, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sitting there watching niggas' toxicity and I'm downloading a nigga toxic words into my brain and all of that. I'm good, bro. Say what the fuck you wanna say, my nigga. Say what you wanna say, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. Know what I mean? Say what the fuck you want to say, nigga. My shit is in stone, nigga. 
My shit is in stone already. You feel what I'm saying? I'm in the books, nigga. I'm already in the books. These niggas trying to get in the books. You feel what I'm saying? In New York City, nigga, I'm in the books. You heard? My name is in the books, nigga. I'm a made nigga out here. You heard? So, he's like, I don't got no time to be listening to these fucking negative niggas talking shit. Man, just go sit the fuck down somewhere, nigga. Right, go get some money. Let me tell y'all niggas a jewel. Screen record this. Screen record this because this is going to get you some views on Instagram. And this is a fact. So, I'm going to give y'all time to screen record because I'm going to tell you some real shit. I'm going to tell you some real shit. You will never in your life find a nigga that's getting money hating on another nigga, especially on the internet. I'm going to say that again. You will never find a nigga that's getting money hating on another nigga, bro. Niggas who getting money don't got time for that shit, nigga. Niggas getting money and spending money, fucking driving, getting fresh. Who the fuck got time to sit there and upload 20 videos? Only a broke nigga. So don't ever let these niggas fool you and, 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 and make you think that they getting money. Because there has never been a nigga that get money and got time to hate on another nigga getting money, my nigga. Never. Never. So, anytime you see a nigga dedicating time out of his day to hate on some other nigga, he broke and frustrated. Bottom line, nigga. So, you heard? Back to regularly scheduled programming. Slip blood gag in the building, man. Smoking some Scotty Pippen right now. Like I told you, this ain't the this ain't 92 Scotty though. This is this is mad at Jordan. Retired mad at Jordan Scotty. E King, what's poppin'? New York Lynx, Adam G, what's really good? That's all facts, my nigga. And then, you know, another thing that's corny. Let me tell you what's another corny trend, my nigga. I'm going to tell you what's another corny trend on the internet. It's niggas on the internet talking greasy about niggas that niggas did a whole bid with them niggas and they never say no shit like that. Never would question niggas. It's niggas talking about niggas on this internet right now that up top, niggas would never... Fix they face to question. Niggas is doing that on the internet, my nigga. YouTube is the new box, my nigga. It's the new box. Niggas still in the box throwing shit at niggas. You heard? Niggas was up top. Niggas would never say that to these niggas, bro. All these niggas, these cornball niggas on here talking about and calling rats and all of that, they was all up top with them niggas, son. And when niggas was getting extremely busy, Niggas ain't never say nothing. Niggas ain't mentioned nothing about nobody. Niggas never said the word rat out they mouth in them penitentiaries and them yards and behind them walls and the maxes. Niggas ain't say none of that. You heard? Niggas waited till they was home, safe, on a YouTube video to say all of that. Niggas will never say that to these people in real life, my nigga. So that trend right there, of calling niggas shit and talking, that's fucking gate gangster shit, my nigga. Niggas be gate gangsters. And if you a real nigga, you learn to ignore a gate gangster. Because it's just the gate that got him like that. You feel me? That gate, that protection between them and the outside, that gate will make a nigga say anything out his mouth, my nigga. So if you would have never said that to that person while y'all was in the mountains together... Don't say it on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, because it makes you look stupid and corny, my nigga. And any real nigga going to say, nah, I was up top with son. Niggas ain't would never say that to that nigga face. You heard? So if, if a nigga, if you could look in a nigga face on YouTube and say, would this nigga say that to this nigga face when they was in the can, though? If the answer to that is no, sign off they shit, my nigga. 
Because you can't give, you don't get no points talking greasy about a nigga from 300 miles away in your living room. You, you don't get points for that, my nigga. So I'm not, as a real nigga, I can't even sit there and watch that. So I got to question a nigga's hoe. When a nigga hit me and be like, yo, I seen that nigga shit. He was talking about son for two hours. When I see that, I got to question a nigga level of realness. Like, nigga, I'm so real, I can't even stomach to sit there for 10 minutes and listen to shit like that. You heard? So if you could sit there for two hours, nigga, whew, makes me wonder. You know what I mean? I won't know nothing. I'll be the last nigga to know. Niggas be like, yo, last. That nigga said you. You know what I mean? I'll be like, word. Three months later, I'll be like, what? This nigga said what? Because, son, I don't be paying attention to these niggas, son. I really don't, my nigga. I don't never watch these niggas' videos. Ever. Ever. <sighs> niggas gate banging, son. Niggas gate banging, son. And real niggas, you don't take part in that shit, my nigga. Ace Boogie, I see you in the building. Know what I mean? So that shit got to stop. Niggas could leave that shit in 2022, my nigga. In 2023, let's stop that gate banging shit, my nigga. Niggas grown-ass men. Niggas in here disrespecting other niggas that they would have never disrespected in the penitentiary, man. Or in the streets or in their face. Know what I mean? That shit corny, my nigga. That shit corny. I'm not making no videos disrespecting nobody, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? That shit corny, man. Nigga gate banging, man. Gate bangers. Know what I mean? Niggas channel should be called gate bangers. And all of them niggas too. Every nigga that every all them niggas fall under that category. They all be gate banging, son. Niggas wasn't doing none of that shit up top, son. Niggas wasn't niggas wasn't talking. Niggas was quiet up top, son. From what I heard, from the research I did. Niggas, some of these niggas was quiet as a motherfucking church mouse up top. Niggas done told me, yo, it was five, six situations that niggas ain't come to the yard for. You heard? Niggas like, nah, I, ain't, I, I don't got nothing to do with that. Niggas told me it was about four, five situations some of these niggas ain't come to the yard when it was on. So it's like, like I said, bro, we can't be fooled. You know, this shit is starting to be like wrestling, my nigga, like... Everybody just want to come out. Oh, Iron Sheik, Nikolai Volkov. Then, then it started. You know, wrestling first started. You know, it was it was regular. You had Paul Orndorff. You had you know Hulk Hogan. You had motherfucking uh 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 uh. You had um uh uh Coco B. Not Coco Beware. Um SD Delivery Jones. Then you know over the as wrestling started getting more popular. Like the YouTube jail story shit is getting more popular. You started having stupid characters that came into the shit like Kamala. All of this shit was OD like Kamala and Coco. B not, not, not shitting on the wrestlers because they legends. But I'm just saying the writers of, of the WWF, they started getting crazy. Like, all right, let's make a, a nigga that who can't speak. George the Animal Steel. Yo, uh, motherfucker, all right, then we gonna make a nigga who got a bird on his on his, on his his arm. Like, they started doing all type of little, little gimmicks, and that's what's happening with this YouTube jail story shit. Now, all type of wrestlers is thinking of a costume to put on. At first, it started off with just niggas with the regular wrestling gear on. Now, niggas got all type of gimmicks, and that shit corny, my nigga. You heard? I'm keeping it AWA. Road Warriors, you feel me? I'm keeping it motherfucking, uh, I'm keeping it, uh, Bob Backlund on these niggas, my nigga. You heard? Bob Backlund ain't had no gimmicks, son. He just fucked niggas up, son. He ain't had no costume. He ain't had none of that. No paint on his face, none of that. He just fucked niggas up. You heard? I keep it Bob Backlund on these niggas. These other niggas, son, you know, these niggas is Kamala's, man. You heard? How now? Remember that nigga tried to read? When he was trying to teach him how to read, he was like, how now, brown cow? Like, that shit was black exploitation, my nigga. Like, a dumb African from the, from the, from the, from the motherfucking uh, villages of, like, nah, that shit was black exploitation, nigga. Straight up. At the fullest. Let me see what time it is. All right, we got like, we got like 15 more minutes. But anyway, man, you understand what I'm saying? Like I said, man. These niggas, these niggas is getting crazy. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Randy Savage, macho man. Like, you know what I mean? When shit was right. When shit was right. 
But then niggas started wowing, man. Niggas started wowing, man. You had Ricky the Dragon Steamboats coming out, Honky Tonk Man, and nigga got the guitar, nigga hitting niggas with the guitar, breaking the guitar. Like, you know what I mean? Niggas start getting crazy with it. But at first, it ain't start out like that. You know what I mean? It started getting silly. You know what I mean? Everybody had a little gimmick and shit. That shit whack. When Hulkamania, I, mean, I, I told you, I always, I always mix that nigga uh, Hulk Hogan voice with that nigga Macho Man Randy Savage. Said, listen, when I come through on Thursday night at WrestleMania 214, and my beautiful wife and manager Elizabeth is there with me on ringside. I just have one word for you. Dominance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, macho man. That nigga was the great that nigga was the greatest wrestler of all time, son. You heard? It's macho man Randy Savage. You heard? That nigga hoke me. Nigga say, when I put these 28 inch pythons around your neck. Come Hulkamania. Come WrestleMania 14 when Hulkamania runs wild on you. That shit used to have kids hype, nigga. Nigga said, word, keeping it Sid Vicious on these niggas, my nigga. You gotta keep it Bob Backlund, Sid Vicious, and SD Special Delivery Jones on these niggas, my nigga. You heard? You can't, you can't let, you can't fall into the motherfucking, uh, you know, you can't fall into that gimmick shit, my nigga. George the Animal Steals and all of that. Nah. Nah, nigga. I remember Rowdy Piper before he was wearing the kilt. When Rowdy Piper was just a regular wrestler, my nigga. Rowdy Rowdy Piper? I remember that nigga was a regular wrestler. He ain't had no kilt on, wasn't doing none of that shit, my nigga. That nigga was a monster. In the NWA and the AWA, that nigga ain't get his start in the WWF. That nigga, uh... Rowdy Roddy Piper? That nigga was fucking niggas up in the AWA and the NWA, nigga. Cage matches and all. When I was a kid, I was buying them wrestling magazines. With Remember how violent? Yo, son, the 80s was fucked up, son. Remember how violent wrestling magazines used to be, my nigga? Like, you see a favorite wrestler with blood dripping down his face in a cage match half night. Nigga, that shit was on my wall. I was putting bloody Hulk Hogan faces on my wall. You heard? Like, them shits was different, my nigga. Cage matches. Niggas was taking niggas' face, rubbing niggas' face on the cage. Ripping the nigga whole face, skin off his face. Son, we was watching that shit at eight, nine years old, son. We was bugging. That shit was dumb violent. You heard? The 80s was different, nigga. Straight up. That nigga Rowdy Piper was an animal. That nigga was smacking the shit. <laughs> that nigga had you. That nigga. That nigga Rowdy Piper was foul, son. That nigga invite Hulk Hogan on his show. He'd be like this. So, uh, so, uh, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you think you're gonna beat the Iron Sheet come WrestleMania 16? And Hulk Hogan would be like, Well, Rowdy Piper, you know I'm gonna go in there with the and nigga just. Smash that nigga Hulk Hogan in the back of his head with a chair. Bro, get the fuck off my show, nigga. Niggas a scrap off in the motherfucking whole shit. Bing, bong, bing, 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 bing. Niggas be running off the set. We was believing all of that shit. Like, I came outside. Yo, yo, you saw what the fuck had? You saw, yo, that fucking nigga Rowdy Piper. That nigga need to die, son. You saw what he did to the Hulkster? Nigga just, every, niggas just never learned the lesson. Like, Every nigga that's a good wrestler, that's a good guy, you come on Rowdy Piper's show, that nigga going to smash you, my nigga. You be there answering questions. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm going for the, the, the WC belt um, next. Nigga, just come up behind your shit, throw the whole set on your head. Nigga, take the wall from his show and just throw that shit on your head. Boom! Smash you out. Get the bagpipes. Bust you in your head with the bagpipes. Yo, that nigga shit was crazy, son. Lele in the building setting niggas up. You heard? Be careful. My nigga Blur in the building was popping. Oh, you see, son? That Blur, you see? That was racist shit, my nigga. That was racist, my nigga. 
Nigga smashed that nigga in the head. Nigga said nigga smashed that nigga's Jimmy Fly Snooker in the head with a coconut, man. That was racial shit, my nigga. Nigga said nigga smack broke a coconut on that nigga head. Like, that's straight racism. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, that shit is funny. Nigga said that nigga thrashed that nigga. Come on, then you started, nigga started getting crazy. Jake the Snake Roberts. Nigga knock you out and just put a snake on you. You heard? That shit was driving people crazy, son. That nigga will get that bag, your ass be out. You be on the motherfucking joint like this. That nigga just be like this, coming out the shit. Nigga come back with a big ass black bag. Throw that shit on you while you sleep. You heard? Niggas be waking up. Ah! Niggas was out of control in wrestling, my nigga. Niggas was out of control, bro. But yeah, my niggas. Niggas said pipe is pit. Man, that shit was dangerous, nigga. You go, you be a good wrestler and go to Piper's Pit if you want to, nigga. Nigga be there like, yeah, you know, come WrestleMania 14. I'm going to try to come with my best strategy. Three, three other wrestlers just come out of nowhere from behind the shit. Nigga set you up. That nigga was lining niggas the fuck up. You come up there. Yo, so right, nigga Piper be like, so, uh, <laughs> Jimmy Superfly Snook. <laughs> so, uh, you like to fly, huh? You heard? I got some guys here that want to help you fly. Niggas just come out. Iron Sheik, Nikolai Volkov just come out from behind. Niggas just start scrapping. Bing, bong, bing, bong. Nigga hit you in the head with the bell from the ring. Bro! We, we eight years old like this. Yeah! You heard? That shit was sickening, my nigga. That shit was sickening. I think I went to see wrestling one time in real life, man. I can't remember, but I think I seen that shit one time. I seen sumo wrestling. Remember my pops took me to see sumo wrestling. Like, what the fuck is we doing here? You heard? <laughs> but nah, that shit was actually official, my nigga. Sumo wrestling is no joke. That shit ain't no joke. Straight up. Or a nigga Big John Stud, Andre the Giant. You heard them niggas was monsters, my nigga. Niggas was monsters, bro. See, when it came to like, uh, uh, what's that nigga name? The Undertaker and all of that. That's when I was in the streets running around with Mac 11s and all of that. You heard? So I wasn't fucking with um, wrestling no more around that time. But um, you heard? I told y'all niggas I seen a nigga Hulk Hogan cut himself with a motherfucking razor. That was it, my nigga. I tuned out after that. That was on WrestleMania. Bad cameraman. He ain't know what he was doing. Caught that nigga cutting himself with a good razor. I said, oh, it's over. I seen that nigga put the razor back in his, in his pants and all that. I said, oh, it's over. Other day, I was going through my old, man, old shit in my old crib. And I ran into a pussy book that I had up north. You heard a pussy book that I bought home from up north, like... One of them black video illustrators or something. I was looking at that shit. I said, yo, this shit is useless now. You heard? Like, with the internet, that shit done made, unless you in the penitentiary, that shit done made pussy books useless now, nigga. I could go see 400,000 uh, pictures and videos in 30 seconds. Niggas had them books, man. When them black video illustrators came out up north, that shit, them shit shut the game down. Them shit shut the game down. Black tail was the shit. Everybody was fucking with black tail. But that's just showing regular broads. But when that black video illustrated hit the scene, where they was showing actual clips from the actual movies, man, listen, nigga. Niggas was coming out. They sell 200 pounds lighter. Niggas was losing 80 pounds in the summer like this. Yo, what up, son? Remember my man, one of my mans, this nigga Shah from Utica, man. <sighs> my nigga Shah from Utica, that nigga had it bad. That nigga just be like this, yo. That nigga be like, yo, you got some more pussy? I'm like, son, you what the fuck, nigga? You had like, you went in the bathroom like eight times today already, nigga. Like, chill. You disintegrating out this bitch, nigga. Like, yo, son, I can't, I'm sick, son. I gotta get home, son. I can't do this jail shit, son. Some niggas, 
Some niggas too horny for that jail shit, son. They go crazy, son. They could just be a nigga, don't even come outside. I gotta tell a story about how niggas used to be piping them, them, them squeegees, man. I mean, them, them, them Susies, man. Niggas was piping them Susies up top, my nigga. Keep it real with you, son. Them Susies, man. Niggas was falling in love, having arguments with they Susie. Fuck you then, bitch. Fuck you. You heard? Niggas was falling in love with them Susies, nigga. Can't play with them shits. Can't play with them shits. I'm telling you. Them shits are how your shit late for programs getting tickets. Nigga be getting written up. Wake up. Yo, yo, what happened? Yo, why the fuck you ain't wake me up for program, son? Yo, I thought you was up, nigga. Fucking with that Susie last night, nigga. It was niggas, man. Them niggas was giving that Susie rounds. Niggas was old going too far with that shit, like. Yeah, son, you know what I mean? I thrashed that shit out. You know what I mean? At the child, I'm gonna go back and thrash that shit out again. Nah, son. <laughs> niggas was taking shit to different levels. I was like, nah, son, I can't fuck with y'all niggas, my nigga. Niggas was like, nah, son, you gotta take the lotion. You gotta put that shit on the radiator. You know what I mean? Get that lotion, man, hot and shit. Like, nah, son. Y'all niggas is taking things to next levels, but I participated. I participated, but you know. Had to get that lifestyle up, my nigga, because it was just too wild, my nigga. It ain't the same as hitting off, nigga. That shit be nah. That shit be coming out the cell like this in the morning. Yo, yo, what's up, yo? Like you just had an orgy last night, nigga. That shit wasn't no good. But yeah, when niggas had them black tails, my nigga, it was real. It was real in the field. Black tails, then that black video illustrated came out. We had bros like Janet Jack me on the scene. They old now. But they had, what's that other broad? Oh, man, what's that old broad, man? She old now. But she wasn't old back then, man. I can't remember her name. Tall black chick, man. What the fuck was her name, man? Y'all know who I'm talking about, too, because she was bad. Tall brown skinned chick, man. Jenny Pepper. Was her name Jenny Pepper? I think it was Jenny Pepper. Word the mother. But yeah, Ebony Oz, I was in love with her too. I'ma keep it real with you. I was in love with that broad son. Ebony Oz, I was in love with her. Let me see who else. I was in love with Janet Jack me. I was in love with motherfucking the broad who I'm talking about. If her name is if that's her name, Jenny Pepper. I was in love with her more than anybody. I was in love with her more than anybody. I'ma keep it real with you. Some of them chicks I don't remember, man, know what I mean? But Jenny Pepper, oh my God. She start, she got older and started doing uh, mature, mature shit. I was tuned into that, nigga. It was popping. You heard? Cause she was a star, know what I mean? Heather Hunter was I, right, man. Some nigga, everybody was in love. A lot of niggas was in love with Heather Hunter, but you know. I used to be one of them, I'd be one of them darkies, nigga. I'd be one of them darkies, nigga. Straight up. I'd be one of them chocolate chipper rules, you heard? I'd be fucking with them chipper rules, nigga. Ain't no shame in my game, but it's like, I used to fuck, I used to, Vanessa Del Rio was a bad motherfucker, my nigga. She was a bad motherfucker, my nigga. You heard? She was different. That's all I got to say. But I'm not going to turn this into... <laughs> Niggas will be on here going crazy in this motherfucker. But yeah, man. It was some serious... It was some serious things. It was some serious things out there, my nigga. Back in them days, it was hard for a nigga. It was hard, baby. It was hard. Straight up, I had the monster collection. When I was in Hudson, I had the monster collection. Monster collection, my nigga. Psh, I had, yo, listen, my black tail game, son. Son, I, I had, I had, I ain't gonna say I had every black tail, but I had majority of every black tail that ever came out, bro. Crispy, new, and crispy, my nigga. You heard? Straight up. Then Black Video Illustrated came out. 
I had every one of them shits. Straight jacket. Had some things, man. Had some things, man. I'm just keeping it a hundred. Keep it in the hundred, man. You can't lock young niggas up in their teens and early twenties and expect them niggas not to go crazy, my nigga. That jail shit fuck you up, nigga. You be in your cell, you be in your queue, just be thinking about puss all day, dreaming about that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. They can be like, when I go home, nigga, I'm fucking everything. Nigga, I said everything. Everything. Thing. You hurt? You know, then eventually you get get to my age where you ain't even stressing no pussy no more, nigga. That shit ain't going nowhere. You hurt? You done had so much of it, you like, eh, whatever. It's crazy when you get to that level too. Like when you don't, where you not where you more concentrated on money than pussy. Word to anything, son. You see the thirstiness in broads. Like, you see broads, you be like, yo, this broad thirsty. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You see the corniness in broads. You be like, this broad is corny, man. You know I mean, I'm good, man. I'm good. Then you get to a level where it's like, if a chick ain't golden, if she ain't a golden retriever, I ain't fucking with her, baby. If you ain't golden, I ain't fucking with you, my nigga. I don't even want to be your friend, my nigga. You got to be golden. If you got any type of hatred in you, you harboring any type of hate. You know how you be with a bro, you get you pipe out a couple of times, y'all chill, she be acting all nice, and then y'all get into an argument and she say some real hater shit. You be like, damn, you was harboring that hate? Once you, once you see that for the first time, you just got to go, my nigga. You just got to go. Once I hear you harboring some hate, nigga, something like when you, you was dying to say something and you waited to say it, once I, I'm, I'm out of here, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Like some some shit where you've been secretly fronting like you a supporter and then I realize you you a hater. I ain't sticking around. You understand? A lot of niggas we we be sticking around those type of broads and they bring you motherfucking bad luck. You understand? You gotta get them bad luck bitches out your circle, nigga. You heard? If that broad ain't a motherfucking if that broad ain't a motherfucking listen, man, I tell a broad in a minute, I say, listen, nigga. I need suicide. I need suicide bombers, nigga. You heard? If you ain't ready to be a suicide bomber, nigga, I ain't fucking with you. Straight up. You gotta be ready for action, nigga. You know what I mean? I need you to do shit. You gotta get it done, nigga. If you ain't if you ain't useful like that, I ain't fucking with you, nigga. I ain't fucking with you, man. Niggas can have that, man. Niggas can have that. I ain't even fucking with no art, no headaches. Like type of chick that always want to argue and all of that. I'm done with that. I'm too old for that. You heard? I'm too old for arguments. You know how you be with bros, you be beefing with them all the time, and then you fuck them, and then you beef again. I ain't with that shit, nigga. That shit is too energy consuming. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. If I gotta argue with you, I'm out of here, bro. I'm too old for that. You need a young nigga. Let me see what time it is. Oh, I'm wildin', nigga. The, the motherfucking premiere's on. I meet you over there, man. We bugging out. I'm sliding off, man. I holla at y'all niggas.